Welcome boys, girls, mums, dads, grandmas, granddads, cats, dogs, brothers, sisters, whoever else is tuning in today. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoy today's session. Today's theme is Who is Jesus? I don't know about you, but I love playing the game Guess Who? I love asking all them questions. So today I want you to think about any questions that you've got about Jesus. Hopefully some of them will be answered in today's story or today's craft. If not, whenever you get your pack delivered tomorrow, your lunch, you can ask whoever's delivering it any questions that you've got about Jesus and hopefully they'll be able to answer you. So today's lunch will be yummy as usual and today's craft is a wooden cross. Um, that's for you to decorate. We'll explain a bit more about that later. I'm just going to say a quick prayer and then I'll hand over to the next person. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for these four days of this holiday club. Lord, we just pray um, that you bless today and that you bless the food that we're going to eat. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name. Amen.
So this is the second memory verse of the week and it's Romans chapter 10 verses 9. So we've got, if you declare with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10 9. And that's fantastic news. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of the simple ones. And go again. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10 9. I forgot to get rid of that one, didn't I? So we'll get rid of the first one. And we'll get rid of that one. And that one. So we go, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9. So do we dare go the last one? So, it goes, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10, 9. And there you go, that's the memory verse. Well, today's story is the transfiguration. It's quite a long word, transfiguration. But what it means is a change in form or appearance. And this is what we see happen to Jesus in the story. So again, like I did on Monday, I think it was, I'm going to tell the story and I'm going to use some slides and pictures. And again, you'll see me in the corner. So are we ready for the story for today? The transfiguration where Jesus changes his appearance jesus took peter james and john and led them up high mountain to pray they were alone at that point as they got the mountain jesus begins to pray to his father i wonder what the disciples are doing who went with him should we find out the disciples were very sleepy. <sighs> Fancy falling asleep. I don't know about you, but there are many times when I feel like falling asleep because I'm tired. But there's Jesus praying and the disciples were asleep. Shall we find out what happened next? As Jesus prayed, the appearance of his face changed and his clothes became as bright as a flash of lightning. Two men, Moses and Elijah, appeared in glorious splendour, talking with Jesus. They talked about the things that were about to happen to Jesus to fulfil the scriptures. The scriptures are the writings in the Old Testament. Peter, James and John woke up and saw the glory of Jesus and the two men standing with him and they said, they were frightened, but they said, let's make three shelters for Jesus, Moses and Elijah. I bet they were in total shock. Then a cloud appeared and covered them and a voice came from the cloud. This is my son whom I love. Listen to him. I wonder if you can guess who was speaking. Yeah, it was God was speaking. Jesus is his son. Suddenly, when they looked around, 
they no longer saw anyone with them except for Jesus. They were back alone with Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus said to them, Don't tell anyone what you've just seen until I have risen from the dead. And we all know the Easter story where he dies on the cross and after three days he comes back to life. Now, the disciples did keep this quiet and kept it to themselves, discussing what rising from the dead meant. Now, I'm just going to come back just as we come to an end. But, you know, they asked Jesus, why do the teachers of the law say that Elijah must come before the Saviour, the Messiah, comes? Jesus said, Elijah does come first then the son of man must suffer and be rejected but i tell you elijah has already come now the disciples were thinking who's elijah and they understood it that jesus was talking about john the baptist wow what a story the disciples seeing jesus change and god speaking and saying this is my son this is the chosen one follow him and listen to him now you might wonder why was moses and elijah there they're two people who we find in the old testament one moses you may have heard the story of moses he represents the law and elijah was a prophet and a prophet was somebody who spoke the words of god the prophets predicted jesus would come he kept telling them he kept warning them jesus is coming jesus is coming and he used the prophets and in a way at this on the mountain jesus is there with the law and the prophets jesus was perfect jesus was representing the law jesus was he was being confirmed that this is the one that who Moses, the law, and who the prophets were pointing to, Jesus is here, and he calls them to listen to them. And today, God is calling us to listen to Jesus. May we listen to Jesus and his words today, and hear what he's got to say, because God's only got good things for you and for me. That's the end of today's story. Welcome to Thursday's Craft Time. So today we're learning about who is Jesus and the theme is words are not enough. So when Jesus came down, when God sent Jesus down to earth, he could have just come and said to us, I love you, I forgive your sins and gone back up to heaven in a nice way, but he didn't. He died on the cross. As we'll be learning later, he didn't just use words, he used actions. He proved to us that he loved us. So today we're going to make these crosses. So there's a little stand and a wooden cross. You can put that in, you can put it in the living room, in the bathroom, in your bedroom, wherever. Okay, so you've got your felt tips. If you've got any stickers, you can put them on as well. So you can do anything. I'm not a very good drawer, so I'll just do a few symbols. I'm going to do a heart because God loves us. I might do a little cross. I'll do a cross in the middle of the cross to remind us that Jesus died for us. Then I'll do some squiggly lines like that. Another heart at the bottom. Colour that in. Going right on as well. God loves me and he also loves you. He loves us all. One last thing, what shall I do? I might do a diamond, because God sees us as a diamond. That's what we are. There we go. So then you can decorate the bottom as well. I won't do that now, because it'll just take too much time. And you pop that in and put it on display. Thank you, Lucy. <laughs> Right, it's me again. I'm just going to summarise today about um, who is Jesus. So we learned today that Jesus is God's son. But you know what? Jesus isn't just God's son. He is our friend. 
He's there to comfort us. He's there to help us. He's there to heal us. He's there for lots and lots and lots of reasons. And he is a lot of things to us. Like I said before, any questions that you've got, just ask any of us leaders, whoever's dropping your food off tomorrow, um, you can ask them or you can wait till we're back together and meeting and you can ask questions then. We are always open to questions. So I hope you enjoyed your lunch. I hope you enjoyed making your cross. If your um, whoever looks after you has took any pictures or videos of you today or any time this week doing any of the crafts or any of the dances to the songs, um, if they could just message them to us on Kids Club, Facebook or Trinity Parish or Trinity Kids Club um just get them to do that. It'd be lovely to see you. We miss your little faces um, and we'd love to see you doing the activities. All right, until tomorrow, I'll just say a quick prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for dying on that cross for us, Lord. Um, and we just pray that you keep us safe tonight and bring us back ready for Holiday Club tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>